I think we can weld it back together. All jokes aside, guys, um, well, I had some questions about how we go about developing a head when we really need to get serious and know exactly where we need to go. And this is how we do it. So every cylinder head we've been involved with that we really want to push, um, whether it be, you know, 10,000 RPM, 2,000 horsepower, um, single cam RBs like, like highway and stuff like that. Uh, guys like that will get a donor head so we actually know where we can move. We know how much water's around the plug and the combustion chamber. We know how much meat we've got around the port wall, so we know how fast, far we can take it. And for something like this, this is for the guys over in WA for a, um, uh, it's a roll racing car. So I think it's going in a 32 GDR, so four-wheel drive. That's um, the V12 5-litre uh, Sentry engine, and they're going to try and push this to about two and a half thousand horsepower. So we want to try and um, optimize as much as we can to obviously reduce as much boost as we can, because you know anyone can throw sixty psi at an engine and uh, make things happen. But the the more we can control the natural VE of the engine and camshaft and valves and flow and manifold and everything like that, uh, the more we can increase the NA aspect of the engine, the less boost we need on top of that, which makes for a happy package all around. Um, and obviously the first area we're going to look at um, is trying to optimize the angle quench that Toyota designed. I've uh, seen a lot of the testing on this. I've got some studies on it that are actually going to pop up on Einstein Motors. Um, they, rather than having flat quench pads, they angle the quench to the spark plug and that it actually uh, changed how the engine worked. More horsepower, more torque, more everything and far more stable uh, flame fronts in the uh, combustion chamber. So we're not going to delete it. We're just going to try and improve it because again, we don't want to chase ignition timing. So like with the RBs, uh, a lot of people pull the quench pad right out. Uh, I'm guilty of that too, but it is more of a fueling issue while we do it, and you'll see how it extends the ignition timing needed. So meaning we need more timing before TDC. So that means we have rising pressures working against us, and the longer the burn period is, the more chance we've got of uh, you know, pre-ignition knocking, all that sort of stuff. So this is obviously an area we're going to look at, try and improve, but the biggest problem we obviously have to address is this thing is, you know, going to be up around 10,000 RPM. How, how big of a port are we going to fit in this? So this is what we do. Uh, we'll, we'll donate a cylinder head, cut it up, have a look at all the casting areas that are obviously going to be a problem. Um, and, and again, size-wise with this, and it's obviously going to have uh, quite a bit of boost in it. Obviously, we're going to try and limit it. But exhaust-wise, we need at least 120 thou to, so 3 mil to 140, 3.5 mil at least, minimal. So, And we've only got about 4 or 5 mil in some areas. So there's not a lot we can take out of it. So we've got to be really, really careful trying to optimize this as best we can. So we, we're going to obviously map the CSA, see where it's actually at as far as RPM goes for this build, and then go from there and work out what areas we really need to address and then study the castings and actually see what's possible, how, how we're actually going to fit um, obviously the CSA that we need into this cylinder head without it getting to the, you know, 40th hour and finding water. So, uh, and it's even worse than that. We, we, we want to make sure we have enough thickness, as I said, especially in the exhaust ports. Uh, you see a lot of the guys within the um, RBs, the new cast replacement, they pretty much can't port them because they're blowing through the wall even in a, in a factory head. So um, not, not great at all. So, yeah, this is sort of what we do, guys. We, we cut it up. Have a look at it, um, and also it gives me uh, uh, singles to play with it a little bit easier as well. As far as this goes, I can do some porting, have a go, see what it looks like, um, 
and then I'm ready to get into the proper cylinder heads. We're not welding this up, by the way. Um, then we can get into the fresh two pairs we have and um, make a good go of it with a bit of understanding. Preparation is key to anything, guys, and this is why I say slow down. Don't just grab the porter and jump in. Um, if you take your time, measure the port, get the CSA, work out what you actually need to do for the port. One, you'll get through the port job faster. This obviously takes a little bit of time, but if you have direction and you know what you need to attack, you're going to get the job done much faster and you're going to see results much sooner. Uh, the, the CSA math is guaranteed. that There's no one in cylinder head development not using um, or not mapping the CSA of a port. It's the only way to do it. And I actually had a really, really good comment um, and, and you can generally tell by the person's comment on their level of knowledge. And he, he basically said if the, the, the CSA is right, that's the best it's ever going to be when it's on the flow bench. And nothing could be truer from that. that that's been proven uh, by me and the actual top cylinder head guys around the world. Um, if, if the CSA is right and the shape's the way you want it and you can get that, if you put that on the bench, leave it alone just record what it makes and uh move on because the, it truly is the best it's going to be so this is what i say do some preparation have a look at what you're going to do work out your csa targets and then get into the job all right guys anyway i just thought i'd show you this one because it's obviously an interesting one being a v12 um and it's obviously going to be a little bit of work we're going to do some port molding so uh we might share that on our youtube channel but as far as the math and everything goes and the in-depth porting series. I think this one's just going on Einstein Motors, but um, I'll share what I can as I go. And uh, yeah, cheers guys. Thanks.